This is the second video on logarithms, and what we're going to do in this video is evaluate an expression. And what evaluate means is get a value. We want a numerical value of this. You're probably not all that comfortable yet with the logarithm form, so my suggestion is that you take something like this and convert to exponential form. Before you convert it to exponential form, though, you need to put equals x so that you now have both sides to be able to write your exponential form. So from the last video, you know this should be 2 to the x equals 64. That's your exponential form. You may know off the top of your head what power goes on 2 to make 64. If you don't know, you can take your calculator and play around with it and do 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, etc. until you find out what number will give you 64. Turns out that 2 to the 6th equals 64 it means x is 6 and what that really says is log base 2 of 64 equals 6 because 2 to the 6th equals 64. If you don't have a calculator, the other way to do this is what's called the method of successive divisions. We take the 64 and we keep dividing out the 2. 2 into 64 is 32. 2 into 32 is 16. 2 into 16 is 8. 2 into 8 is 4. 2 into 4 is 2. And then 2 into 2 is 1. So we're finished dividing. Count this up, and those are your 6, 2. So this method will work. And the reason we're dividing by 2 is because this is 2 to the power. Same idea over here. Log base 4 of 16 equals blank, so equals x. Write it in exponential form. 4 to the x equals 16. You should know this value of x without having to do the calculator or the successive divisions. It has to be 4 squared gives us 16, so that means x equals 2. In other words, log base 4 of 16 equals 2. Do you have to do this exponential form? No, you may be comfortable enough looking at the problem and just thinking in your head, 5 to the what power gives me 625? And if you can think that way and get the answer right, you don't have to write this. But for right now, we're going to write this out. Put equals x. Write this as 5 to the x equals 625. You can use your calculator, or you can do the successive divisions. This time we're dividing by 5 because our base is 5. 5 into 625 is 125. 5 into 125 is 25. 5 into 25 is 5. 5 into 5 is 1. So 5 to the x, to give you 625, must be 5 to the 4th equals 625. That means x is 4, or log base 5 is 625 equals 4. So we have converted all of those to the exponential form because most students will think better in the exponential form because you're more used to that. But after you do enough of these, hopefully you can think in your head, oh, 2 to the what gives me 64. Well, 2 to the 6 gives me 64. 4 to the what gives me 16, 4 squared. So let's see what happens on the next couple, see if you can think that way. This is saying 7 to the what gives me 343. You may know what that is. If you don't, well, then you're going to write down x. Then you're going to convert it to exponential. 7 to the x equals 343. Notice that's no different than what I just said a couple minutes ago. 7 to the what equals 343 is the same as saying 7 to the x equals 343. And you can do the successive divisions, or you can try on your calculator. And if you do 7 to the third on the calculator, you're going to get 343. That means log base 7 of 343 equals 3. 6 to the what equals 216, or 6 to the x equals 216. Use your successive divisions. And let me just remind you, if you're going to do the division, you're dividing by 6. You divide by whatever the base is. And the value you will put on 6 to get 216 is 3. So log base 6 of 216 equals 3 because 6 to the third equals 216. Those are all the ones I would consider straightforward. And once you do enough of those, you maybe can do a lot of those in your head. Maybe when the numbers get really big, you can't. But your basic values you should be able to do in your head. Like if you had something simple like log base 5 of 25. All we're saying is what power would you put on 5 to make 25. That's simple. The power you would put on 5 to get 25 is 2. Now there's two other categories of problems that get a little more difficult. When the base is bigger than this number here, sometimes it's hard for people to do in their head. So let's do this setup equals x and let's set it up exponentially. 16 to the x equals 4. Now to solve, you have to write these both with the same base. 
Well, 16 is the same as 4 squared. All of that raised to the x power. 4 is just 4 to the first. Using your exponent laws, raising a power to a power gives you 4 to the 2x equals 4 to the first. And if you have base is the same, that means your exponents must be the same. So all you have to solve is the equation 2x equals 1, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 1 half. Now think about that. The only power you can put on a bigger number to make it become smaller like this is going to be a fraction power because these are roots. But log base 16 of 4 equals 1 half because 16 raised to the 1 half power equals 4. Same set up here. Let's put equals x so we can go to our exponential. 9 to the x equals 3. I need a common base. Well, you know 3 can be used as your base, so 9 is the same as 3 squared. All of that raised to the x. Use your raising a power to a power exponent law. Gives you 3 to the 2x. You know 3 is the same as 3 to the first. And this turns out to give us the same answer the last one did. If these two expressions are equal and the bases are equal, then the exponents must be equal. So all you have to do is solve 2x equals 1 or x equals 1 half. That means log base 9 of 3 equals 1 half because 9 raised to the 1 half power equals 3. Another one like that. Let's put equals x. Let's go 27 to the x equals 3. What base can you use for 3 and for 27? Well, obviously 3. 27 can be written as 3 to the third. So this is 3 to the third raised to the x equals 3. Using your exponent laws, this is 3 to the 3x equals 3 to the first. If the expressions are equal and the bases are equal, that must mean the exponents are equal. So what you're solving is 3x equals 1, divide both sides by 3, and x is 1 third. So log base 27 of 3 equals 1 third because 27 raised to the one-third power equals three. Remember, one-third power is just another way of saying the cube root. Now notice these are different. Now we're looking to create fractions here. So I'm still going to set it up equals x so that I can do three to the x equals one over 27. What I think is the easiest way here is to think about the fact that the only kind of power you're going to put on a whole number to make it become a fraction is a negative power. So we know x is going to have to be negative something. Then just look at 3 and 27. What power would you put on 3 to make 27? Well, you should know that 3 cubed gives you 27. So this is x equals negative 3. So log base 3 of 1 over 27 equals negative 3. Because 3 raised to the negative third power equals 1 over 27. Same setup here, equals x. Go to your exponential. 5 to the x equals 1 over 125. We have raised a whole number to a power and gotten a fraction. The only kind of power we can have is a negative. Then just look at the 5 and the 125. What power can you put on 5 to make 125? That would be a 3. So we're saying log base 5 of 125 equals negative 3. Some more of these. Log base 16 of 8, put equals x. This is 16 to the x equals 8. Now this is a little different because neither one of these is the base we're going to use. You can't do a power on 8 and create 16. You have to come up with the same base for both. Well, the only number you can use for a base to create 8 and also create 16 is 2. 8 is the same as 2 to the third. 16 is the same as 2 to the fourth raised to the x power. Use your exponent laws. This becomes 2 to the 4x equals 2 to the third. We have equal expressions. We have equal bases. We set it up that way. So all we have to deal with will be the exponents. So we're solving 4x equals 3. Divide both sides by 4 gives us x equals 3 fourths. So log base 16 of 8 equals 3 fourths because 16 raised to the 3 fourths power equals 8. Now, you can use your calculator to do checking here. You can't just press the log button on your calculator yet. We haven't talked about that. That's a different base. That's not base 16. 
But once you have an answer, you can write it exponentially, and then you can use your calculator to check this. If you're using a graphing calculator, you'll do 16 caret parentheses 3 divided by 4, and that will give you 8, so you know you have the answer correct. Same kind of setup here. Here's our x. Let's go to exponential. 25 to the x equals 125. What base can we use for both of those? Obviously 5. This is 5 cubed. 25 can be written as 5 squared. All of that raised to the x. Exponent law gives me 5 to the 2x equals 5 to the third. Expressions are equal. Bases are equal. So all you're dealing with will be the exponents. So you have to solve 2x equals 3. Divide both sides by 2 and x is 3 halves. That's saying log base 25 of 125 equals 3 halves.